Recently I picked up a few bits and pieces of new makeup and I have been incorporating them into my makeup routine. I have been loving a very simple, natural but pulled together makeup look lately. I've been wearing it nearly every day. In today's video I'm going to show you guys my makeup routine using my new favourites and some of my old favourites as well on how to get this very simple, natural makeup look. For an everyday base, I am still loving my Maybelline Dream Satin BB Cream. I have the shade Medium Deep. It is a beautiful finish with medium coverage, very hydrating, just an awesome, affordable product. And I like to mix in a little bit of this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I have the shade Deep Glow. I'm not sure if this is available yet in Australia. I bought it when I was overseas last year, but keep an eye out for it because it should be out very soon. A glowy product mixed in with your BB cream or foundation just gives a beautiful, radiant, glowy finish. And I'm all about that look. I just absolutely love it to death. And I can't get enough of my glowy products. And this one is fantastic. I squeeze a small amount Amount of this Lumi Glotion in with the BB cream just onto my fingers. I rub the two products together and then as I would a lotion or moisturizer I just rub into my face blending out with the warmth of my fingertips and my hands until it's just all melted into my skin. These two products together give a beautiful skin like finish which is what I'm all about. It's very natural looking. You can still see my skin peeking through but it's evened out my skin tone. It's covered up a little bit and it's just giving me a beautiful healthy glow. I hardly ever set my makeup with powder. I just find it takes away the glowy look that I'm striving for. If I do get oily, which usually happens in my T-zone area, I use blotting papers to just take away the excess oil and I'm pretty much good to go. To brighten up the under eye, I use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have the shade Ginger. This is such a gorgeous concealer, guys. A little goes a long way. I use my finger to apply it. I go directly into the pot and then underneath my eye, in the inner corners, around my nose if I have a little redness, wherever you want some brightening. It is not matte as the title suggests. It is not dewy either. It is just a perfect skin-like finish with the most perfect coverage. It is amazing the difference it makes to your under eye. It does not crease. It does not look cakey or dry. It is so long wearing. By the end of my work day, I look at my eyes and I still look as fresh as a daisy. This is the best concealer I have tried and that is what I use to brighten my under eye. I have been obsessed with the highlight in this Maybelline V Face Duo Stick. It is a cream stick formula. It glides on very easily. I like to apply it over my foundation before applying my bronzer and then I just tap it in with my fingers. It's a very natural highlight, not too intense, but I love the sheen it gives my face. A very soft sheen, almost wet look. It's just a very gorgeous product. I am so thrilled that I discovered this product. I am definitely taking it with me when I travel next week. Bali is very hot and humid and a cream highlighter and contour in one so compact so gorgeous so natural cream products in hot humid weather are a match made in heaven this product is just my jam at the moment I love it to warm up the face and make me come alive I use my NARS Laguna bronzer no surprises here I have spoken about this so many times it is a gorgeous universal shade that will suit almost every complexion. You can build it up. It has a gorgeous soft sheen. It is so blendable. It gives a gorgeous airbrushed look that makes you look like a bronze goddess. It is truly a beautiful bronzer. And I like to apply my bronzer with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. So awesome. You can get them from Priceline. They're really affordable. If you haven't checked them out already, I really recommend you do so. I have quite a few in my collection and they're very good bang for your buck. I also apply bronzer on my eyelids for an everyday simple eye look. I use this Real Techniques base shadow brush. It's very soft and fluffy. I blend it into my crease and then on the eyelid, a little under the lash line. I love applying bronzer on my eyelid for a very simple one wash of color. It just defines the eye, it brightens the whites of the eye and just makes me look more alive 
and warms up the face. I have been obsessed with this little eyeshadow in this glass pot by Seshado. These shadows are called Aura Du and the shade I have is Solar 02. It is the most gorgeous eyeshadow topper. It gives the most ethereal, dreamlike sparkle on your lids. I just can't live without this product at the moment. I use my finger and dab a little bit of this in the center of my eyelid over the bronzer and it just takes it to another level. It is so ethereal and beautiful and sparkly and magical and just I can't say enough about it I am obsessed with this product it is not cheap it was like $38 just for one little pot Alana Davison spoke about this and I had to go out and grab it because it just looks so pretty and she was right this is stunning I absolutely love this eyeshadow topper it was worth every cent I am really having a blush moment right now I wear it every day I love blush I love how fresh and youthful it looks and lately I have been loving this one by Essence it is the matte touch blush in peach me up it is so bright and fresh and youthful and easy to apply you can't really go wrong with it the finish on this is unbelievable it feels like a high-end product and it is only five dollars it is a gorgeous shade I love this blush the brush I use to apply my blush is this small stipple brush from elf I like to stipple it into my cheeks rather than sweep it over my cheeks I just like the look it gives my cheeks because it's more concentrated in the one area which is the look I like I also like to sweep it across the bridge of my nose elf brushes can be found in Kmart they are also very affordable and great I always 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 tight line my eyes. To tight line my upper rim, I love to use the Rimmel Exaggerate Eye Definer in black. It just makes your eyelashes look so much thicker and it's just so defining. So I always use the black Exaggerate Eye Definer for that. To tight line the lower rim of my eyes, I like to use whatever color I'm feeling at the moment. Sometimes it's olive or lilac or purple or brown or black or even a red. Lately I've been loving this one here by Rimmel. It's down to a little nub and so I can barely read what it says but it's the Scandalize in Brown and I love this color because it's a bronzy brown. It has a very soft shimmer through it and it just gives a very soft look on the lower lash line especially when you've smoked out the bronzer on your lash line as well it's just a gorgeous combination and those are the two that I have been loving and wearing every day for my brows I still can't go past my Maybelline brow drama it is cheap as chips works like a dream so easy to apply makes such a difference in the most natural way it gives fibers to your brows it shapes them beautifully it cements them and holds them in place all day it is a very simple way to achieve a very groomed but natural looking brow for my lashes my mascara is still Monsieur Big by Lancome this mascara is so volumizing and that is what I look for in a mascara I love the look it gives my lashes it's just a really good mascara it is a little wet so I do like to wipe off some of the excess on the lip of the mascara. It's such a great mascara and if you do make any mistakes it just flicks off once it's dried with a little q-tip. I just love the look it gives my lashes. And the lip that I have been loving and wearing every day is this Burt's Bees lipstick in Suede Splash. It is a gorgeous nude color. It's almost the color of my lips, but a little bit deeper. It is so moisturizing and so easy to apply. It's very balmy and hydrating, but has a beautiful pigment as well. And it just feels so good on the lips and is very long wearing as well and affordable. 20 bucks I think these are. They're really, really great. And although they are drugstore, they feel very high end. And I love the packaging, so cute. So that is my complete makeup routine that I have been loving lately. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my new favorites and revisiting some of my old ones as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.